Hey guys, I didn't find the solution yet for the whole um, you know core thing, which the game only utilizes one core properly because my one my first core is still being utilized. 99 whatever percent of my other cores are just like sitting there twiddling with their thumbs. But anyway, what I did actually do was I basically let my system overclock my CPU automatically, not pressing it too hard, just a little bit. The CPU is only overclocked about 100 and 125 megahertz, 175 megahertz, I can't really remember, but it's only overclocked like 175 megahertz right now. So, and it actually runs the game a little bit better. It's still using, you know, has very bad core optimization, but if you can check the frames per, se per second in the top left, you know, over there, you can actually see it's not too bad. Um, it does seem to help. So I would suggest overclocking your CPU a little bit. Not not much, just a little. Like I said. Crap. Come on. Hurt myself. Anyway, um, try overclocking it a little bit. It, oh, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. Oh crap. Oh fucking hell. I'm being ass raped. Sorry for the swearing. Holy crap. Time to get back to the safe zone. Run, 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 run. Anyway guys, like I said, it does seem to work a little bit better. You can check the frames per second and the game is actually playable. So, you know, at least it's playable. Okay, I'm in the safe zone. Hey, 20 plus 29 agility points. Anyway, the game is a little bit play a little bit, you know, more playable since I overclocked my CPU a little bit. You know, 175 megahertz. Um, luckily I have a button, I can just press it on my motherboard and you know, motherboard overclocks the CPU automatically. I can probably get more out of it. Um, if all if all cores were being utilized, the motherboard would overclock the CPU to 4.5 gigahertz instead of just 4.4 4, you know 400 uh, sorry 4325.7 it would actually go up to 4500 megahertz um, automatically I can probably get 4.7 or 5 you know 5000 megahertz 5 gigahertz out of this CPU but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to stress my system too much you know Someone else has like, I don't know, a thousand dollar bloody water cooling unit. Be my guest. Overclock the shit out of that thing. Me, I'm not going to spend a thousand bucks on that amount of water cooling. If if I had it, I would. But I don't have it. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather just get myself another graphics card. Or just get a better CPU or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, it seemed to have worked for me. You know, if you can look for yourself, frames per second is much better than I had. It used to drop down to 22 frames per second, even to 19, which is pretty bad, you know. And then it, it stays constantly to 28 frames per second, maybe 30. But I mean, going, jumping between 30, 31 and 4550 is a lot better than staying at bloody 26 22 21 frames per second constantly so yeah guys uh, give it a try this isn't a complete fix you know it's still not using the older cores like it should but it is you know something that you can do it is you know a temporary solution so to just improve your gaming performance. So hey, uh, give it a try. Don't press your CPUs too hard. If you don't know how to overclock your CPUs, uh, feel free to ask me or anybody else that knows what they're doing. Um, good chance you will have to, you know, put um, TeamViewer on your computer in order for me to help you and lots of the other guys because. We need to see exactly what computer you have, what motherboard, what CPU, blah, 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 what temps is it running, 
and all that stuff. It's all important. If you just overclock your CPU while you're just using the plain old simple stock cooler, you know what, you're going to burn out your CPU. So if you don't know what you're doing, then don't overclock your CPU. If you do know what you're doing, hey, give it a try. Um, push another 100 megahertz or make note, megahertz, MHZ, not gigahertz. Push another 100 megahertz or 200 megahertz into your CPU and see what it does. Don't push it too far though, it will overheat and it will die because, yeah, CPUs tend to do that if you push them too hard. Anyway guys, hope you guys have a good night and have a good one. Bye.